So I got a letter from my homeowners association, and it's not the first one, but this one's about excessive weeds in the garden bed. I had a guy I was paying last year to come in and spray, but I got another letter stating that Roundup was too expensive to continue to offer that service. And every effort I've made to spray things myself has been laborious and time consuming, which is a commodity that I don't have considering I can't even find time to churn out YouTube videos. Being the resident big yellow fan that I am, I went to Home Depot to look for something that would make this job easier, but not the flame throwing kind. I really didn't want to have to manually pump the sprayer, I wanted something battery powered. That being said, I've tried the all-in-one Roundup sprayer before that had batteries in the one and it didn't work very well for me. In fact, it didn't actually kill any of the weeds, so I picked up this DeWalt lithium ion powered backpack sprayer, checked out, and brought it home. If you're interested, I've thrown in a link to this sprayer in the description below. So let's get started unboxing this with my DeWalt box knife that I'm using to open it. The first thing you'll notice at the top is the instruction manual with all the nozzles and tips. Then I'm going to pull out the 2 amp battery, the battery charger that came with it the wand that was tucked into the side of it and next we're just going to pull out the hose take a quick look at it it's a 50 inch hose and then we'll pull the entire backpack out and throw the box down we're going to lay the sprayer on its side so you can get kind of a good look it looks like the straps come attached around the back of it for packing and shipping as does the waist belt um, is attached around the back of it as well. You take the two amp hour battery out. The instructions actually say that a two amp hour battery should run about 50 gallons of spray for about four hours, I believe. So, and you can put in obviously bigger batteries and get um, more gallons and more hours of spray usage out of it, but I didn't actually have that big of a need. So as long as you have less than 50 gallons of spray, that two amp hour battery should work for you. Here's all the tips that actually come with it. And I'll go through what each one of those tips does later. This carrier just clamps onto the wand and then the wand will actually go down on the side of it after we attach it to the end of the hose and then unclamp those backpack straps. There's a waist belt and then there's a comfortable set of shoulder straps that are also clamped with a high waist clamp on it so that you'll be a little bit more comfortable. They call it a deluxe harness. Let's go ahead and attach that 21 inch wand to the end of the comfort grip handle that you have there. There is a latch that holds down the release so your hand doesn't get tired while holding that grip the entire time, especially if this is going to be a long process for you. There's the wand clamped into the side. This is the sealed and water resistant battery compartment. Um, there's an internal shroud to protect it from the elements. I took the included two amp battery and threw it on the charger and took out one of my three amp batteries and threw that on there. There's markings for one, two, three, and four gallon on the sides of it because it is a four gallon sprayer. It's got a super wide 4.75 inch tank cap on it so that you can fill it up easily. There is a filter in it and right beside that there's another handle also down inside of it is a second filter and I believe that there's a third so it has a triple filtration system to reduce clogging. There's another filtration in the handle. And now we're going to take the mounting kit and mount all of the nozzles to the side of the wand. You're going to pick your tip and then you're going to put it in the end of the spray piece. You're going to put your gasket in and then you're going to screw it on the end. There is a 45 degree tip and you're going to want to make sure that that's lined up with your comfort grip handle. Checking the batteries, it looks like we have a full charge and there's your leather sealed power switch. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with two gallons of water. This sprayer does have have a four gallon capacity so you could fill it up a lot more if you want and then i'm going to take my cap full of roundup that i'm using in this and i'm going to dump that into the water and shake the sprayer up mix it up really well and then we'll take it outside for a test run note that this sprayer will go from 0.1 to 0.6 gallons per minute it will range in pressure from 2 to 90 psi and the spray distance is up to 34 feet with 35 feet in height so it's actually pretty good what you see on there now is the adjustable brass nozzle. It's kind of convenient as a all-in-one nozzle. And next up is the yellow nozzle, which is a low volume narrow fan. The red nozzle is the wide spray low volume. The black nozzle is the foaming nozzle. And the orange nozzle is the jet stream nozzle. One that I didn't show you was the high volume wide fan, which is the brown tip. But let's go out and start spraying some weeds and see how this thing works. A little bit of air came out when I first started spraying it. That's to be expected. There's tons of grass in these rocks and I've got to spray all over. I ended up spraying for 
roughly 15 minutes or so. I was spraying inside the mailbox cover. I was spraying inside the pavers on the driveway. Inside the gravel and the rocks, there were tiny little plants in there that also needed to die that have seemed to be hard to kill in the past. But this sprayer has actually done a really good job for me. I got into this bed as well. There's your nozzle. Again, that is a low volume, narrow fan nozzle. And no real crazy deals on this one, like what you saw on the water heater video that I posted. If you wanted to check that out, click on the link. So now let's do a real world test. DeWalt claims that this thing can shoot up to 34 feet and it can spray up to 35 feet in the air. Let's make sure the battery's full and then we're gonna go ahead and crank this thing all the way up to 10. We set a tape measure out for 36 feet just to check and then we started spraying with the orange jet stream nozzle. The winds were fairly calm and as you can see here, we crush every bit of 35, 36 feet. So I would sufficiently say that this thing can actually spray the advertised distance. This is after one day and then we'll come back after a couple of days and everything that was green is now dead that I've sprayed in that bed. Summary, this backpack sprayer seems to work pretty well. I would highly recommend it. Grab yours from Home Depot. If you do an online purchase, you can just do a store pickup. That way you don't have to go traipsing through the store looking and trying to figure out what aisle these things are on. But if you do that, make sure you pick up your Roundup or whatever other use you're going to use it for too. And throw me a comment down there. Let me know what you got it for and if it's been useful for you. Whether you've used it for weeding or feeding or disinfecting, finishing concrete or even controlling pests, it should be pretty awesome. I'm hoping for no more letters from my homeowners association. Have an awesome day and we'll catch you on the next one.